listening, you can't come back from being DQ'd, man. You gotta be here on time. Okay, I, you got me in trouble. Three, two, <laughs> okay. one, so we're go! going to get into this next one. It's gonna be... Man, yeah. it looks like he's... Looks like he said he's gonna pull all the stops out, knowing that he's going over against the sun and pulling out the high. And from what I've seen earlier, Rob is his number one character he plays. So both these guys are pulling out their mains, they're both going at it. Looks like, uh, looks like Ladenzak is pulling out all the stops. He's got a good lead here, starting to make that abundantly clear. Yeah, you tear through winter size for sure. I mean, good, good, good stuff, bro. Love to see it. And then here we go, Lady Zack trying to take this here. Morris being as careful as he possibly can. Knowing that uh, if he gives Tom any kind of leeway, he knows that he might be in trouble. But both these guys have great recoveries. Morris is playing to say, if he gets caught by a forward air, that's going to take the stop. And here we are. Now Morris is up, uh, is down a stock. Given Lazy Zack is at 97%. And both these guys are about to start going absolutely ham. Lazy Zack still trying to play it safe. Trying to gimp. Uh, oh, is that going to be it? No, it's not. Oh my god, he uses a back air to be able to make it back just to. Because it, I didn't realize that. It actually projects. Uh, Rob uh, forward whichever direction he faces through that back air. That's cool. Finally catches him with a uh, with a B neutral and finally takes that stock away, but not before uh, Lazy Zack was able to get 74% on Morris. Now uh, now Lazy Zack's trying to get himself set up to get back in there to start pushing Morris even more. Morris catches him with an air. Let's loose for a second. Start uh, trying to put some uh, combos together. Couldn't get it going. And now Morris is trying everything he can to keep from getting the stock taken away from him. Good stuff. Got uh, got a good space right there to be able to stay away from getting caught by the up smash. Trying, uh, trying to bait and punish uh, Sonic here. Lazy's actually just not falling for him. Ooh, trying to catch him with a forward air. Misses it just below him. Gets caught by an up air. Wasn't enough to kill him. Still not enough to kill, but he is still pushing forward. But Lazy Zack gets that forward air, takes that stock away. But then Morris comes back and hits him with a side B and almost actually takes the stock away. Oh, catches him. Holy crap. Lazy Zack is still alive. Good DI skills right there from Lazy Zack. Gets caught by another side B and that'll finally take that stock away. And these guys are back to reset between the sto uh, on stocks. And now we're uh, now we're setting up a last stock situation here between these guys. Both of them looking for a way in. Finally starts uh, starts to get that uh, B neutral into a forward air. That was good stuff. Catches him with another forward air. Trying to take him out here. Back here almost does it. Lazy Zack still misses. And still, uh, still holding on. Morris is starting to get a little overwhelmed here. Trying to turn this back around. Finally gets a combo going. Grabs him. Goes into an up kill. Gets him in the back air. And that's going to take the stop. Morris takes game one. Okay. Rob wins! Anyway, these guys are going to go right back into it. Looks like they're going back to the same place. I didn't see any stage change. Three, two, yep, they're going one, right back to Battlefield. Go. This is another good stage to fight on. I think this gives... Uh, yeah, I think this really... In a way, I think this benefits uh, Lazy Zack. Because then he can catch uh, Morris on the platform and stuff and really do some, uh, some nasty things in this fight. But Morris is just making complete and strategic use of that that down tilt. That down tilt even has a chance to make the uh, make a character slip and fall down or whatever. 
it, it's pretty neat. I mean, I've seen it only a couple of times, but just that ability alone is really helpful. His Nair is absolutely nasty. Tried to space it out, couldn't get it. Lazy Zack on, uh, is on the prowl now. Still getting caught by those Nairs. Another Nair. Tried to go for a back air to take him out, couldn't get it. Wasn't able to get the space, uh, the proper spacing. Is just hitting him with that laser and that uh, spin top as much as possible. Ooh, got lucky right there with the invincible, uh, the invulnerability, keeping him from getting caught by that down smash as he came back up on stage. And he's still holding on, but Morris is going to take that stop with a nasty side B, makes it back on the stage with ease, and Lazy Zack now is being pressed. The way this keeps going, we might even see a reset. Morris still, uh, still trying to uh, add some more damage to Lazy Zack here before uh, he gets that stock taken away. Oh my god, look at all those down tilts he's just getting right now. Misses the Nair. Almost got him with an up tilt, though. That would have been really good. Doing everything he possibly can to try to take the stock away, but Morris is just being an absolute unit right now. Really starting to put the, uh, the pressure on uh, Lazy Zack here. Gets him caught right there. Almost gets the forward air. If he would have been able to get the rest of that forward air in. Oh man, instead he gets the spike down. Still was able to make it back to stage. But Morris comes right back and takes that stock away. Just, man being an absolute monster right now with Rob. You don't see very many, well I say you don't see very many Rob players. There's a lot of great Rob players out there and this guy is showing that he can be another one of them too. But Lady Zack though still putting on a clinic for being a Sonic player. I mean, Sonic is, he, he's been tearing through uh, people today in the brackets. Sonic starting to put some work together here. Catching him with some back airs and some forward airs. Trying to mix up his gameplay a little bit. Ooh, gets caught by the back air, and game two goes to Morris with a two stock. Two stocks, Lazy Zack, man. We, this is definitely reaching towards grand final reset. Yeah, man, you took a set from Morris, so yeah. And and, and and of all places, top eight. That's where you took that set from. So you definitely have bragging rights, man. But you do have the ability to beat Morris. So I'm pretty sure the next time y'all fight against each other, you might even do better than you did already today. Today you made a tremendous amount of um, like progress, man. Just being able to fight somebody on that level and just be able to still get the work done, you know. Oh yeah, uh, Commander says you should have seen our uh, our set every game last hit, game five set. Yeah, play. so every every match y'all had came down to the wire being the last hit uh, scenario, huh? And here we are on a small battlefield. This might be a little bit more to uh, to Morris's liking. Now that there's not a lot of space, and this means that uh, Ladyzak's not able to have a lot of room to breathe. And Morris is showing that right now. Already took a stock. He put the two nares together. Almost catches him with that side B. If he would have brought it back, he probably would have. But now... Uh, now, oh, catch him with an up, uh, up air. Misses the down tilt. Misses the up smash. And what in the world is going on here? Oh! He went, I don't know what Morris was thinking right there, but that was definitely a bad idea when it comes to fighting Lady Zack like that. Kicks him off of the stage uh, with a back air and sends him straight down into a living. And here, here we go. Now, uh, I think uh, Lady Zack's starting to feel a little bit, uh, I think he's starting to feel the pressure knowing that this could easily be out of his reach. And trying to get back and keep Morris from being able to control the fight, he gets caught by a back air, just barely getting that back air out there. If it would have been another frame, or at least one more frame before that back air came out, I don't think he was going to get it because then he would have been all the way back on the ground. But he was literally like scraping the sides of his thrusters there, right on the floor, to get that back air to come out. Oh my god, almost caught him with a. Uh, oh my god. 
Well, guys, it looks like it's happening. Morris is 3 0 Lazy Zack. Reset and brackets. There's uh, sick, nasty stuff that we're seeing here. All right. So now that the bracket has been reset, now it's down to these guys both. It comes down to the last five matches of the game here. Loser bracket, grand finals, both sides. Norris strategically reset this whole thing. Lazy Zack is starting to put some pressure on. Got a good 70% uh, lead, but Morris is quickly trying to bring that back around here. Morris is trying to play as safe as he can, knowing that um, Lazy Zack is starting to put the pressure on him. Tries to catch him with that back air and just misses. Ooh, Lazy Zack getting caught by another back air. Still not enough to do him in. Now he's starting to put the pressure on him. Catches him with another up air. And just catching uh, Morris on those uh, platforms. So this is definitely working out in his favor. But good lord, look at the absolute power these guys are just uh, showing us here. The skill is just immaculate. Morris is trying to make his way back. It looks like he's going to make it. Oh, okay. he uses a back air to kind of give him just a little bit more uh, time to hold himself up in the air and make it back the rest of the way. Good stuff there. Back throw does not kill. Morris is sitting at 180% and still holding and Morris is going to try uh, to fight him on the, uh, off of the stage there, but Lady Zack was able to wait him out and was able to get that uh, stock taken away. Now it's time for uh, Lady Zack to start putting some damage on before that stock gets taken away, and he's playing it very careful, um, looking out for the laser and the spinning top. Here we go. Now he's starting to put the damage on. 45% already starting off for that second stock on Morris. Still sitting at 106%, gets caught by a back air, and that's going to finally take that stock away at 106%. So now Morris has got a chance here now that he's brought the, uh, the stock back to, to a piece. The lazy back is just putting on an absolute clinic now. Now he's starting to put some work in, trying to get in close. Morris is struggling a little bit to try to get in on him because you know Sonic. Sonic's just so damn fast. Misses the Nair, gets caught by another Nair, gets caught by an up air. Couldn't, uh, couldn't take care of that stock there. Now this is pretty much tied up. Lazy Zack still trying to, ooh, no, and he's not gonna get it. He tried to go for a spike, couldn't get it, and went off stage, came back safely. Now he's getting caught, ooh, nice mash, out, uh, nice mashing right there to get out of that. Oh my God, nearly escaping that up smash. What a champ. This guy is really holding on to that stock, man. Like, it's like every moment is just that. It, it, every stock is just so dear. It's so devastating to lose a stock. But now, now uh, Lazy Zack has a chance to take the stock here, and he's going to do... No, he's not. What? Good DI skills from Morris. Morris is still holding on. And starting to put some damage on that stock of his. 174% damage and still fighting, man. Oh my goodness. This guy is just not letting up. Tries to catch him, uh, tries to, uh, call out the jump. Misses the shot just by a hair. Still holding on. Uh, Lady Zack now sitting at 50% damage. Finally takes that stock away, trying to, uh, now he's got to try to ramp up the damage and tie this back up. But Morris is just already on his case and he's not letting up. Lazy Zack trying to think it out. Finally gets something going here. Nice shoot of 21%. Up smash does not kill. Still holding on. Gets caught by a Nair. Gets caught by another Nair. Morris tried to get the up tilt there. Couldn't get it. Ooh, then another Nair. Good lord. We just, it's Nair City in here. And gets caught by a side B, and that's going to do it. Morris takes game one. For a reset on Grand Finals. What are you doing, puppy? All right, looks like these guys are going to keep the same character. Looks like they were having some stage changes. Oh, now this might be something that Lady Zack might be able to get down with. 
<coughs> now he's got a lot of room to work around here on uh, town and city. And, and both these guys are starting off with a little bit of trying to fill each other out, trying to uh, see who's going to get the first uh, startup going. It looks like Lazy Zack was able to get the first hit in. So maybe this might be what he needs. Ooh, gets caught by that full power B neutral. And starting to put some work together here, trying to even up, and then uh, Morris catches him with a side B. Very well placed and very uh, well timed. And here we go now. Now Lazy Zack starting to get some movements here, but then Morris comes right back with a couple of fourth tilts. Ooh, he was trying he was looking for a back air, couldn't get it. Uh, Lazy Zack was able to hit him before it was able to come out. Gets him with a forward smash, and that's gonna take that stock, and now uh, Lady Zack has a chance here. Now he's got a lead. Now it now he's gotta play it safe, try to put as much damage on as he can. And look at that recovery. Was able to get past the up smash because that would have been a nasty attack right there. Gets caught by the up tilt. Still holding on. Waits out the side beat. Good stuff. And he's just going, trying to go all out right here. Holding on at 132%. And Morris is going to take that stop with that side beat. That side beat has been a winning factor here for him. Especially when it comes to uh, Sonic trying to come in on him uh, as, he, uh, as he's been doing. But with that being said, uh, Lazy Zack finally takes that stock away at 86% with a nicely timed forward air. And now he's starting to hit some all oh, three up tilt uh, up airs in a row, then followed by a forward air. Tries to get him with a back air, couldn't do it, and gonna take game two. And Lazy Zack is gonna tie this up. That was almost too easy. Wow. What an absolute savage. Yeah, you're, you're right, Avenger. Lady Zack said, I'm not out of this yet. I'm not out. You may have beat, you may have reset the brackets, but that does not mean that I'm done playing. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Maybe, man. Maybe one of these days we might be able to get you in on a, uh, on a stream for, um, for commentating or something, man. And looky there, already try, uh, tried to gimp, uh, Morris there right off the bat wasn't able to do it and now Morris got a good 20% lead here tried to catch him with a side B but they t uh, they kind of canceled each other out there being real agile and elusive as he is Lazy Zack is really wanting to bring this back and win it and the fact that he tied the game up so now it's anybody's game still welcome back Connor. hey what's up what's going on guys so they're still going at it, huh? Oh yeah, they're man. Pretty much even. Three stocks, one one. I mean, what else could you ask for in the grand finals, especially a reset? Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, I was gonna say at the end of the day, uh, Evan. I think. Oh, he's gonna get caught. No, he still comes back. What? I was gonna say. Uh, C to thirteen. I uh, thought. Uh, uh, thirteen year old. Uh, hey. If, if you got the skills to pay the bills, man, you, you can <laughs> yeah. put it to work. <laughs> yeah, man. You, you almost won $10 Ooh. today, Avenger. Catches him with a forward air. This is definitely becoming a really nasty set here between these guys. Like, I didn't think this would be a fun set to watch, in my honest opinion, but these guys have definitely changed yeah, their mind. Rob it's all about the movement and how they're going to avoid an interaction with each other. Yeah. Uh, Rob versus Sonic is so, like... If you miss one one move just like that, if you whip one time, the other character is gonna whoop your ass. Yeah, and I, uh, and if Timmy, uh, Timmy, if you're watching this, man, you you need to like get a uh, like a, a strategy book and write it down because Lazy Zack is just showing some absolute crazy stuff that you can do. Like his, I've been noticing like even though he's doing his dash attacks and stuff like that. He's like he will curve it around and come right up under um, uh, Morris. Boom! <laughs> Vincent said, "I would have taken the money like a robber's going to the bank." <laughs> Hell yeah! The money's money. Ten dollars is ten dollars, man. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta take it when you can. I'm gonna say, Andrew over here truing right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The truth has been spoken. We see what everybody's true colors are when money's involved. We already know. 
Hey, when, it, uh, hey, when you got it, it's like if you got an emergency and stuff, man. When you, uh, if you got to get somewhere, or if you got to be somewhere, you got to drive it like you stole it. Or if, the money, or if it's about money, you got to, got to take the money like you're robbing a bank. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like you're gonna offer ten bucks. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. Boom! Gets caught by a back air, and that's not enough to take that stock away. And then gets caught by a back air of Morris's. How did Morris know? Morris has been really, dude. He's been so, uh, so edgy with his back airs. Yeah, I saw that. Got stopped by a bring it back for you. Oh, and he is. He absolutely is. But Lazy Zach is one of. Yeah. Ten, ten dollars is a lot for me too, man. He's like, like, ten euros, same <laughs> like ten thousand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, man. Put it in a piggy bank. Save it. Listen to that change rattle. Seven bucks. Yeah. And then. So Avenger needs his money back for Piranha Plant. No, that's what he was trying to do. Yeah. What a chance. Yeah, he was like, he was like, this is an investment buying Piranha Plant. I'm gonna get oh, like yeah. ten dollars so, back one day. So here we are. This is make it or break it now for Morris. This, uh, these guys are going into game four. And look at look at the control that Lazy Zack has on this Sonic, man. Like, we've seen Sonic, and we've seen what Sonic can do. But he's just putting, like, he's putting extra a little bit of detail in there. Like, adding a little bit of spice to the pot right now. And, and it looks like Morris now is starting to have some, uh, some trouble here. Uh, as we see in this game, and <laughs> Evander says I use five euros to, uh, uh, for plants so I can touch grass virtually. <laughs> I'm a gamer. What do you expect? <laughs> Dude, man, this guy is being. <laughs> what is going on today, uh, Evan? You are being a complete savage, man. No, <laughs> the Piranha Muppet. Did you see that picture in your No, I didn't. That's funny. I can't, I can't put that in top eight as much as I would love to, but it is freaking funny. He said that he wants that as his top eight picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's like a dirt face right there. Yeah, dirt face I, plant. I said, you kill me, Evan. That's a cursed image. Piranha Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, once again, we're down to the wire here, coming down to the last hit between these guys. How did that not kill? That up air should have killed right there. He's at 190%. How does that work? Oh, what, what is this? What is this? What's going on here, dude? Are, are we seeing a... messing with the gravity of the situation right now. Uh, I think there's a glitch in the matrix right now, man. I need to be resurrected. It's Neo versus, versus Morpheus. Uh, yeah. Morpheus didn't look, uh, couldn't look any better than what he did in the new movie. Man, I watched that whole thing through. It was great. Yeah. I, it was like, kind of slow for my taste, but I mean, I understood where they were coming from. Yeah, later. the beginning seemed kind of slow, but it picked up later on. Oh, yeah, it did. So y'all will definitely have to watch that. But anyway, back to the fight here. Sorry, I got off topic. Uh, oh, you're good. You're good. The people are good. Oh yeah, I mean, it, but, uh, the only reason why we made a reference to it is because we are seeing some glitches in the Matrix right now. Like both these guys, he had a up, he had an up there, while uh, Morris was at 190 percent and did not kill, and then turns right around with Morris doing a side B and hitting Corin for 146 percent and it did not kill. Yeah, you know what it is? Their DI was outside the realm of reality. Oh dude, there! Oh dude, look, he even, he even went all the way out there to try to get that back there to finish that stock and couldn't get it. But man, he was gonna try to pick it up here. But like, you gotta watch out for this neutral air coming back down from Rock. Man, the, the ballsiness of the situation is just. Oh, did you see the tech? I did. I saw that tech. Oh, he nah, tried to take it. Tech, right? He took it twice in a row and tried to take it the third time, but I think that was untechnical. Yeah, he. Uh, I'm gonna say at that point, uh, I mean, somebody's got to be able to say enough, and why not the game be able to say, you know what? Oh, twice. God, this is really coming down to the wire here. Last stock here. Lazy Zach really trying to put this game away. Otherwise, they're gonna go into a game five situation. And Morris is just being. Morris is just being Morris, man. He's playing Rob. <laughs> yeah, it's dead it is, even here. It is. It is absolutely dead even. And now Morris is starting to take control, I think, because he knows how urgent this situation is. 
Seems they're gonna play a little bit more careful here. A minute ago, I felt like he was overwhelmed. I saw three neutral airs come out of the row to the Sonic Mirror. Dude, he's been hitting nares like nobody's business. Like, I watched him do like four nares back to back and was That's gonna. To... No, it's not. You cannot whip those edge guards. No! Down at this juncture. No. How are you gonna make it back from this? And he's gonna go do it right there. No, he's oh, caught him in the air dodge. Caught him in the air dodge, dude. That was absolutely ballsy, man. Whoa. Going to game five. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's Genova. Yep, that's Genova. I know that all too well. I can't mistake in that. I'm, I'm a big Final Fantasy fan, so the fact that I get to hit, uh, when I first found the Knights of the Round, dude, they sound so amazing when they uh, play. It gives a whole new perspective to Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Oh, catch it. Here we go. These guys are going absolutely crazy right now. Both these guys know what's at stake here. Game, game five. And Lazy Zack's doing everything he can to uh, to bring this back into his favor. He would try to get the up B there for a back air, but he misses it just narrowly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're go going at it as hard as you can. <laughs> Look, yeah. Nemo's having to keep up with these two guys. It's not easy. It's not easy tr trying to talk as fast as these guys are playing. Yeah. Uh, and Nemo only has so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a smoker. I'm a joker. <laughs> I'm a midnight toker. <laughs> I played my music in the sun, I promise you. <laughs> oh, gets caught by a down smash and that ain't gonna be it. And both these guys now coming down to a last hit situation on that very first stock. It always seems to be, that seems to be a pattern here. Both these guys are going to be living to outrageous numbers and still going on strong. And look at this. Lady Zack is just doing some off the wall stuff now, going absolutely crazy with his, uh, his B abilities. And Morris catches him for it. He's like, okay, you gonna spin down here? I'm just gonna side B you. Let's go. <laughs> and he does. But now, Lady Zack's gonna have to take the stock quick before it starts to amount to, uh, or it gets to be a little too much on the damage. Yeah. Too yeah. much damage is trouble. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Avenger, we, if anybody talks to us, we interact with them. A lot of the times, we'll be sitting through the entire stream and not a lot of people are talking to us. But yeah, if you start a dialogue with us, we're gonna joke around with you. We're gonna talk about whatever you want. Oh, yeah. that, that's usually how it is. We try to interact with everybody that we can and stay focused on the game at the same time. Just like, yeah, we've definitely had a great day today. Yeah, look up in the sky, some birds playing. No, it's Sonic doing an up air to Rob. <laughs> like, I almost couldn't see it. I saw just a brief moment of him going up in the air to get that uh, that up air to take that stock away. And both these guys are now tied back up in damage and in stocks almost uh, virtually, man. Like, oh, but now Morris is starting to put the pressure on. Both these guys are really coming down to the wire here. They know that this is not going to be an easy game to win. Both these guys are putting just their heart and soul into this fight. This fight is now the essence of what we are striving. Here we go. This could be it. Oh, and that's going to take yeah, that stock take right there. For sure. Yeah, I mean, I thought that you were. I thought you were going to win that as well, Andrew. I really did because you started coming back with that with the combos and stuff, and I was like, oh my god, is he going to bring this back? Yeah, and then it, it just good. so happened that they got a straight hit or whatever. But it was awesome. Yeah, this is definitely yeah, a close is... matchup, man. These guys are going at it. He's trying to take that. Oh, he almost saw a Superman look there up in the sky. Couldn't do it. You think Morris oh. is going to take this Avenger? It could be. But, but if he wants it, then he's going to have to take some damage here, or he's going to have to give some damage to Sonic and try to even up his deficit, or, or get the deficit a little bit further in his favor, get that extra credit before he gets his stock taken, inevitably. And look at that, he's already 47%. got got him, yeah, got him at 47%, playing careful and safe with those nares. Oh, look at that, just coming out, getting him on that first part of the flip. Oh, all right, Sonic's at 56%, this could be a big deal. Yeah. He has to play careful and try to rack up his damage, oh, even though and here we go. the kill. Lazy Zack is, uh, late. oh, oh. Dude, it's gonna be oh, oh my god! Holy shit! What? Lazy Zach wins! Oh. 
Holy cow. <laughs> no way, dude. No way. Came down to the last moment right there on the ledge, bro. Holy There's crap. No way. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anything like that.